This video will focus on how you can schedule a meeting with colleagues in the NHS or if you want to invite someone from outside of the organisation. Following these steps will allow you to set up an online meeting with staff within your department or across several departments or even outside of the organisation. Before we look at this, we need to make sure that you can see your teams and enter them. Once you have logged in, have a look at the left hand navigation panel. I would recommend your department lead asks your IT admin staff for the following tabs to be included in the left hand navigation panel on everyone's Microsoft Teams account. This will probably be the most important day to day tabs you will use. I'd recommend Activity, Chat, Teams, Calendar, or this might be known as Meetings, and Calls. To access your department team, go to the Teams tab on the left side navigation panel and click on it. This will display all the teams you have been added into by your departmental leads or IT admin staff. If you don't see your team or the correct team, I'd recommend you let your department lead know and your IT admin staff. If you see your team, click on it to enter it. You have now landed on your team's homepage, or what is known as the general channel in Microsoft Teams. From here, you can send instant secure chat messages, which the whole department can see. This is useful to announce important announcements to everyone within the team. It is not recommended you use this channel to send one-to-one -one or small group instant messages. Instead, use the chat tab on the left-hand navigation panel. To schedule a meeting in advance with everyone in the team or with only a few individuals, click the meetings calendar icon on the left-hand side navigation panel. This will display a calendar for the week, which any meetings which you have been invited to or appointments you have been scheduled will be displayed on. However, don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like this because we are interested in creating a meeting and not joining one at the moment. Click on the new meeting tab near the top right of the screen. This will display the scheduling assistant, which will help guide you through the setup of a meeting. Add a clear title to your meeting here. Skip the Add Required Attendees box if you do not want to input all of your colleagues' names or email addresses. However, if you are only inviting certain individuals for a small group meeting, start by writing their name in this box and then suggested individual names start to appear if they are within your organization's directory. you are now able to click on these suggested names. This is also the place where you can invite people from outside of your organisation. To do this, you will have to write their full email address. These individuals will then receive a meeting invite via email and there will be a link in the email for them to join the meeting once you have sent the invite. To notify everyone within the team, click on the Add Channel box and then select the correct team and then Channel. In this case, since we want the whole team to be invited to the meeting, we're going to click on the General Channel. Fill in the rest of the details such as the start time and the end time and include relevant information for the meeting in the text box below. Once you have completed all the information, click send at the top of the screen and the meeting will be created. This will also send an email to anyone outside of the organisation which you have entered manually as a required attendee. If you return to your team's general channel, you will notice there is a notice displaying the team meeting has been set up and everyone in the team will be able to see it. The last step is to configure the meeting. Click on the meeting. 
click on meeting options. You'll need to look carefully through the meeting options and choose the correct setting. Once it is all set, you can click save. Individual members of the team can click on the meeting announcement. They are then able to join the meeting through the link that is on the bottom. Alternatively, they could go via their meetings tab on the left hand navigation panel. In the next video, I'll be going through how you run a scheduled meeting.